Hi, it's Betty Penny. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for coming over. This is going to be a tag collab with Crafty Mama Diaries with Helen, and I'm so excited. So a while back, I got all of these pink and main dies and stamp sets and a huge sell that they were having. And I have checked a lot of these are still available and you can get the die and coordinating or coordinating dies and stamp set for like $12 each. They're a really good deal. And they were even less back then when uh, pink and main was moving. What I'm showing you here is kind of a file folder that I had altered so that I could transport my um, stamped images without damaging the edges and stuff. And I took these to my mother's house and visited with her one Saturday and I colored most all the images up while we hung out together. And then I'm just gonna finish the rest here tonight. I'm only gonna show you a little bit of what I did, but these are Prima watercolor pencils. Uh, sorry, not Prima, Prismacolor. And so that's what I colored all of my images with. I've been wanting to use all these stamp sets. So doing this collab was the perfect time, I felt like, to just use them all. So what we're doing is tags for all seasons. And um, I just kind of went for it with this haul at the same time. Definitely go over and check out Helen's video um, on Crafty Mama Diaries because she's going to be doing four tags as well and I know that they'll be amazing. I just love her channel so much and if you haven't checked it out you definitely should. All right, here is my first tag. I wanted to make a Christmas tag because that's the time of year it is. And I love baking. I've always loved baking. I actually used to be a professional cake decorator and baker. And um, it was one of my favorite jobs of all time. I just loved it. So I still love to bake and especially around the holidays. And I take things to neighbors and family so that's this tag will be used for that now I used this recipe die and stamp set from Spellbinders and then of course the images are from Pink and Main now the images I'm using from Pink and Main today these are like items that are being discontinued you know they're older stamp sets so you may have them in your stash you may not I will say that this was a very <laughs> laborious way to make four tags. If you don't have a lot of time or colored images, but you have a lot of ephemera, I would definitely go that route for making tags because chances are it will go in the trash soon after the person receives the gift. So I typically don't spend a ton of time on them. However, I really wanted to color up all of these images and so I just went for it. And I think the tags turned out adorable, so I'm happy I did. And hope he, hopefully the recipients will enjoy them and hold on to them. A little while anyways. If they don't, it's no, I would never know, right? So it's just a joy to make these kinds of things. So I have all these yummy treats all on the front. I popped some up with foam tape. I'm gluing the other ones down. And I just love these teeny tiny little sugar cookies. They're just so cute. I decided to group those together so that it's, the four corners are done and it kind of all size-wise matches up. Now obviously this tag isn't like a typical tag shape, but I think that's what's fun is that you can make a tag any shape you want. So um, I really kind of stepped out of the box with that in this video. I'm going to show you one typical what I would say would be a typical tag shape. 
and then three alternatives, and this is one of them. So as long as you leave space to punch a hole, if that's how you want to attach your tag, then you should be fine. So I thought it would be great to tie my ribbon and attach my tag up there by those tiny little sugar cookie images. And that's it. I keep that kind of loose because I might end up tying that around a whole package of baked goods. Okay, the next one is kind of like a fall camping theme. And this paper um, I had gotten at the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'm gonna bring in this stitched polygon die for my next tag shape, and I'm using the big one. And it is big. It's almost six inches tall and four inches wide. So this is a big tag, but I just, I wanted to use all the images that I had colored up. Plus I wanted to bring in these stars. This is an MFT stars above. And this is on clearance in the not, not too shabby shop right now. You can get it at a great deal. If you don't have any star dies, I would definitely recommend it. There's also a coordinating stamp set that's super cute um, that I already had, and I just picked this up um, a week or so ago. So now I'm bringing in a little bit more of this pattern paper. And it's not like a scene, like on a card that makes a lot of sense. I mean, obviously the stars are above. Um, the, I love that little bear in his sleeping bag. I, he's just so cute. And um, I did ground him with a patterned paper. And actually when I flipped it over right here to glue it, I was like, oh, trees. Yes, I like that even better. Like he's camping in the forest. Yes. So I ended up gluing the wood side down and the trees up. And again, I'm just gonna pop some things up, glue other pieces down. One thing I would have done differently, but I had already vested so much time, is that I would have cut out that camper and that truck with the dies so that the backs of them had patterned paper for when they were hanging over. But I'm gonna show you kinda a hack for how I handled that since I, I was being lazy, I guess. <laughs> so I go ahead and just pop these up with foam tape and they are hanging over. I don't mind the stars hanging over. In fact, I leave them because they do have the craft card stock and I just don't find it to be too distracting once everything is attached. So I punch a hole up at the top. And you guys, that camper was just so adorable. It has a, like a scene painted on the side of it. So cute. And a mama with her flashlight and s'mores. So here's my little bit of a hack I just did is I brought in a little more of the patterned paper. And it's the same pattern paper that I had cut the tag out of and I just did the opposite sides. So this grid is gonna show through on the front and then this will be on the back. And that's just how I decided to handle the part with the camper and the truck hanging off the side of the tag. I just love this one. Uh, I live in Texas, so, you know, if we're going to go camping. It has to be in the fall or the spring because the summer is too hot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I could see this um, definitely be a fall camping card. I brought in this um, ribbon, and it's actually from the Dollar Tree, in case you guys are wondering. And I just thought it was great because... Again, it's kind of the fall, the brown with the leaves on it, and they're glittery, and I just thought it was the perfect little ribbon. So there's that tag. Tag number three. Now this one's pretty simple. These are the bow 
the stitched bow dies from pink and main. There's even another size. There's also like a die for the little ribbons to hang down. So you can have the ribbon behind the bow like I chose to do with this one. Or you can have them hanging down, which is super cute. And I just love that it has three different sizes. And I do like paper bows like this, especially like for tags. Um, and sometimes cards as well. So what I did is I made a small bow and then the bigger bow. I think this is the medium and the large as far as what comes in the dies. And then there's one that's even smaller. But I just layered those up to make a very dimensional paper bow. And then I thought I would do this next, this tag and the next tag are ones without dies. So, you know, you could just hand draw a heart or any shape that you want. I'm just kind of sketching um, how big I wanted my heart to be with the pieces that I was planning on using. Then I did the elementary hack of folding the paper in half and cutting out my heart. And it's a little wonky, but I don't mind that at all. And this one is super simple. So I made the bow. I have this adorable carousel horse. And then I bring in a tiny doily and that's it. So, so simple. I contemplated decorating the back of the tag and making it a hanging tag and then I decided not to. This is actually going to be a tag that will like will adhere directly onto something so I'll just put some foam tape on it and I can adhere it to something. Okay so here's my fourth and final tag. With this one I brought in single-sided paper. I wanted to give you guys an idea for using single-sided paper and hand cutting your own tags to make a double to make a folding tag that opens where you could write on the inside you could even decorate the inside and you can decorate both the back sides so you just need to cut your paper to be the same size which is what I've done here and then you cut off it doesn't matter as long as you just cut off one side and then you flip it over so that you can cut off the other edge and then that is how you can make your own shaped tag and then I punch them and now I'm going to bring in a scoreboard and just score one of the sides it doesn't matter which one you can score the back or the front and now I'm going to glue these together. Only that top portion from the score up to the top. And now you will have a tag that opens. And so you can write a message on the inside. You probably don't even need a card at this point. I just think these bears are so cute. So I brought in a punch and punched out some greenery to go behind them because they have like they're riding this tandem bicycle with a basket of flowers. And so that's what made me think of bringing these in. And I love the way it contrasts and just what it adds to the little bears I think is so precious. I was thinking of gluing those down and then I decided I would just catch them with my foam tape and everything would be fine. <laughs> no need for glue. So I was thinking I would do a giveaway um, and I'm going to give away a $15 gift certificate to my Etsy store. 
So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and hit the like button if you want, but definitely leave me a comment. I'm going to select one person from the comments randomly and they will get the $15 gift card. And you can use it in my Etsy store. I have cards, I have D-stash items. I always have all kinds of stuff over there junk journals, lots of things to choose from. Now, I will tell you this, you'll have to contact me through my Instagram. You'll have to direct message me through Instagram to claim your prize and give me your address. So just be prepared for that. Um, I will announce the winner uh, later this week. So you'll definitely probably wanna hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll see it when I post the giveaway winner. Um, I'm so happy to do this collab. Collabs are so much fun. I am here for the community. I just love card making. I've been card making for years and I love other card makers. And so um, I'm so excited to do this collab with Helen. She's someone who inspires me and she's so sweet. So I just, I'm honored. All right, so you could tell I just hand cut my own clouds there, no dies. And I am going to pop these little bears up. I've been on a hot air balloon ride before. It was magical, I definitely recommend it. If you ever get the opportunity, it is like a bucket list thing to do. All right, and I brought in some sari silk. I did a very simple tie here as well, leaving my options open. And I just love this tag. Okay, so that's it. That's all four of my tags. I hope you enjoyed them. Let's just take a quick look. So the Christmas baking tag. And on the back, I did put the sentiment baked with love that came in the same spellbinder set. And this is just really sweet. I could see myself putting this on my daughter's birthday gift or, you know, her friends or my niece. It's just so sweet and precious. And I love this one too. I can't pick a favorite, but I really like this one a lot. And finally, this adorable bear couple making memories together. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.